Jones. Now Clues does a good job to keep the ball on the right side of the half. There's a shot from Anderson, blocker to side from Hoffnagel. Bogdan, first man on the ball. He'll throw it back for Perot, who gets tied up by Jones. Now that one will be backhanded out of the zone, but it goes off the mesh netting right near the penalty box. So the face-off will remain inside. Face-off won by Anderson, right to Perot. Throws it into the open corner. Anderson with it. Trying to spin away from Peters. As Peters is able to find that one and move it up for Velasquez. Over the line on the far side, Joey Velasquez. Trying to get that ball to settle down. Gets it back and a good stop by Deason. Lywak moves it up now for Perot. Now Bogdan tries to move that one forward but can't. Perot sends it in for Anderson. First man after it. Being watched closely there by two Snowbirds defenders. So he moves it back for Mitchell. Down low for Mike Bug, who just missed the one-timer. Well, now there's a shot in the slot from Beatty. Loose ball in front, and Englot is able to find it. Moves it forward for Morin. Now Morin over the blue line. For Nataways, and had that one just get past him. Nataways finds the loose ball on the far side, throws it on goal. Mitchell is able to find it. Up for Williams, being watched by Lavelle. Bassett got it back momentarily. And now that one will move up. Bug dishes it off now for Williams. Williams just going to slow up and maybe wait for a couple of his teammates to catch up. Williams back for Mitchell with a shot, and that one gets ripped wide. Nataway is now with a burst of speed trying to get that ball out of the Snowbirds' end. Morin is able to find it. Tries to move that one up and can't. Mitchell across for Williams. And now Eskelson will leave it for Mitchell over the line. Mitchell tries a centering pass for Noel. That one got cut off by Weens. Now there's a shot by Mitchell which goes wide. Noel trying to play that one off the back of the Snowbirds goal. For Eskelson. Centering pass now for Pasek with a shot. That one gets redirected out of play. So the face off will come outside. That was Brunin that deflected that one out. So the face off will come in the neutral zone. 9-14 remaining in the third period. Still a 3-0 Bucks lead. Looking for their second win of the season. As now Evan Peters over the line. Peters with a shot and a good stop by Deason. Peters follows up with the rebound. Being watched closely there by Beatty. Harrison on the near side. Centering pass for Peters with a shot, and that one doesn't make its way through. It got blocked. A good stick there by Pasek. Harrison now has a man all alone in front. Harrison tries to make a move. Have that ball roll off of a stick. Hold the Knights now making a move through. And that one goes off. I'm not sure if it went off decent or a defender, but either way, it goes off of a Bucks player and out of play. So the faceoff will remain inside. Well, Josh Anderson, the Bucks captain, out now for the offensive zone face or the defensive zone faceoff, pardon me. And he wins that right for Perot. And that ball is going to go down the length of the floor, so it'll be an icing call, and we'll do the face-off all over again in the Bucks zone. This time it will be to the left of Deason. Defensive zone faceoff won by Anderson. 
Bogdan on the far side, leaves it for Cluse. He'll try to send that one cross floor, but it got knocked down by Knights. Bogdan is able to poke it loose, and now here he comes the other way. Back for Anderson, working on Pasternak. Anderson is able to put it on goal, and it gets steered aside by Huffnagel. Now Evan Pasternak over the line for Knights on the near side. Knights down low for Pasternak, tries a backhand pass for Harrison, just missed him. Grimm turns around and fires. Good save by Deason. Loose ball in front. It's still loose. And it just gets thrown into an open corner. Esker tried to go off the wall. Cut off by Knights. Knights now trying to make a move. Good defensive stick from Jesse Kloos to thwart that attempt. And now he'll send it over the middle of the floor. As Anderson will just gain the line. And he just throws it in deep and he'll peel off on a change. Williams is able to cut off the ball behind the Snowbirds goal. He's tied up by Jones, and that will allow LaBelle to pick up the loose ball. Near side for Noel Anglot. Centers it for Velasquez. Velasquez will just get over the blue line and throw it on net. Bug will leave it for Williams, who just... Oh, well, they're going to say that he didn't gain the line. So, Bug will have to tag up on the offside, and that will allow the Snowbirds to break out. Pass too far for Bumphrey, so Lywak will just go D to D for Eskelson. Up on the near side for Williams, and that one will go down the length of the floor. No icing. LaBelle, the first man back, being watched by Keith Mitchell. Up for Anglot on the far side. Now Velasquez over the red line. He'll leave it for Bumphrey. Bumphrey's gonna walk in with a shot and that one goes wide. Velasquez plays that one off the back wall. Bumphrey now has that ball roll right to him. That shot gets steered aside and Peters can't keep the ball in the zone, but it ends up working out for the Snowbirds as that will go down for an icing call, 6-12. Left to go of the third period. Still a 3-0 Bucks lead. There's a shot that goes high and wide right off the face off. Nataways. Leaves it for more, and Nataways gets the return feed, scores! Antoine Nataways on the feed from Darwin Morin. And the Snowbirds are on the board with 6-0-2 remaining. With the offensive firepower that the Snowbirds have, this game is now far from over. Because it was a good cycle down low from Nataways and Morin. And Antoine Nataways. Able to put one home glove side on Deason. And now here comes Evan Peters over the line. Chips it to himself. Peters now tries to go backhand. Deason can't find it. It was sitting between his legs. But a Bucks defender was able to push that one out. That one goes off the end of the Snowbirds bench, pardon me, and out of play. So the faceoff will come, I believe, back. No, we're going to go into the neutral zone. As they're going to say Pasek was... Outside of the blue line. Carson Eskra now in his own end. Leaves it for Beatty. And now Pasternak able to find that loose ball up for Nataways. For Bassett. Bassett with a shot. That one got blocked. A good block from Ruben Beatty. Here comes Perot. Dishes it off for Anderson. And that one will go into the netting behind the Snowbirds goal, so the faceoff will come outside. Morin, the only assist on that goal. It took 30 shots on goal, but the Snowbirds have finally solved Mitch Deason. The only problem is they have two more goals to get if they want to tie this one up. Kloos behind his own net, being watched closely there by Knights. Kloos is able to retain possession, but now Knights is able to find it. 
Might being watched closely there by Joey Lywack. Knights still with it, wants to go to his backhand and lost the handle. No call, the Snowbirds bench wanted one, they're not gonna get one. Lywack tries to move it up but can't get it out. Loose ball in front, Harrison trying to work it free. LaBelle with it now, LaBelle with the shot and that one goes wide. Harrison tries to play it off the back of the wall and Deason will find it and hang on. So the Snowbirds are gonna be pushing hard over the next four minutes and 38 seconds as they need two to tie this one up. Now Knights with it, tries to walk in. There's a shot and a stop by Deason. LaBelle able to keep that one in. Knights down low now for Harrison. Being watched closely there by Eskelson. Harrison looking for somewhere to go. Sends it back up top for Knights with a shot. That one doesn't get through. I think Beatty was able to block that one as well. Mitchell. Behind the net, Beatty tries to send that one up. As now Knights with a shot and a good block by Eskelson and that one stung him. What a block from the Bucks defenseman. Harrison with it on the near side. Harrison's gonna tee one up and a good stop and Albert will just send that one down the length of the floor. LaBelle tried to keep that one in but can't so it will go down for an icing call and that will allow Dawson Eskelson to get off the floor, but what a block on an absolute bomb from Holden Knights. Three forty-five remaining now, and it looks as if the uh, Snowbirds are going to take a timeout. So I'll take. 30 seconds to talk about what they want to do. Boy, the story of this game has been Bucks goaltender Mitch Deason. 33 saves to this point. A big reason why the Bucks have a three goal lead. And on the other end of the coin, Robbie Huffnagel hasn't played bad by any stretch of the imagination. But you know that he wants that second goal back, the Derek Lukian goal. Had a handcuffed Huffnagel and went in. Lukian then, of course, got kicked out of this game. He received a game misconduct for a hit from behind on Brennan Jones in the second period. Humphrey took a stick up high. The Snowbirds wanted a call, not going to get one. Pasternak with it. He'll go D to D for Peters. Peters with a shot, and that one gets steered aside by Deason. Humphrey tries a centering pass. That one doesn't work. Him and Perot are in a battle for it. Lywak is able to work that one free. Wants to go off the wall too far for Bogdan. Peters will let that ball settle down with a shot and a good stop by Deason. And he had to double clutch that one, but does, and... Are they going to send Robbie Huffnagel to the bench now? I think they are. So I was just going to say, we're going to have to keep an eye on the Snowbirds' goal to see when they send Huffnagel. And with 3.09 remaining, it looks like they're going to do that now. So Pasternak, LaBelle, Bissett, Morin, Anglot, and Nataway is on the floor for the Snowbirds. Pasternak. Gets the return feed. That one got blocked. There's a shot and a good save by Decent. Anglot pushes that one past Lywak. Gets it back up for Pasternak with a shot. A big save. They score! Off of the rebound. I think Darwin Morin hammered it home. Then with 2.45 remaining, it's now a one goal Bucks lead. So the extra attacker 
works for that one anyways. Still one more goal to go if the Snowbirds want to tie it. So now Pasternak behind his own goal. Near side for Nataways, up for Morin. Tries to push it past Cluson, does. But good job by Ruben Beatty, who was able to come in and help out his deep partner. There's a chance, they score! Antoine Nataways on the wraparound. Three unanswered goals, and it's a 3-3 game with 2.17 remaining. So a good job by Antoine Nataways. And with 2.17 left, we're back to even. As now, Harrison picks up the loose ball. The Snowbirds captain wasn't even out on the floor for this comeback. Harrison now is able to out-muscle Anderson for the loose ball. Back for LaBelle. LaBelle will push that one in deep. As that one rolls dangerously in front of Deason, and now Beattie tries to catch up to that loose ball. As Peters will move it up for Knights. All the Knights on the near side being watched closely there by a snow or by a Bucks defender rather. Knights behind the Bucks goal for Grimm. Grimm with a shot and a good save by Decent Rebound. Grimm is able to find it himself and he hangs on. So some good pressure here for the Snowbirds as they're now approaching 40 shots on goal with 122 remaining. So in the event of a tie after regulation, we will go right to a shootout. It will be a five player shootout. So that's how, if this game stays 3-3, we will solve that. But with the way the Snowbirds are clipping, they want one more as the Bucks are just gonna send that one down the length of the floor for an icing call with 112 remaining and the faceoff will remain to the right of the Bucks goalie, Mitch Deason. So now, Lywak behind his own net. Has that ball cut off from Nataway, sends it down low for Morin. Morin tries a centering pass, that one doesn't work. LaBelle will keep that one in the zone. Nataway's with it now. Watch closely there by Eskelson. Oh, there's a centering pass. Good stick by Lywak. Morin with it. Tries a centering pass for Bissett. And that one missed him. Evan Pasternak will go down behind his own goal. And a chance for one last rush here for the Snowbirds with 16 seconds and counting remaining. Pasternak being watched closely by Williams. We'll see if he... Alex to push the ball down the floor. He might just be content with letting this thing go to a shootout. Williams hot on his tail and he'll move it up for Velasquez and that's how regulation will end. So three unanswered goals by the Bucks. That's how this game started. And then the Snowbirds will, were able to answer with three unanswered goals of their own in the Really the last five minutes of this one is kind of when the Snowbirds turn it on. And Antoine Attaways with the tying goal. He got things started as well for the Snowbirds in this one. So it will be a five player shootout. Shots will begin at the near blue line. T 
teams must utilize every available player in their lineup before reusing a shooter a second time. So we'll go through the entire roster if it gets to that point. Standard shootout procedures will be applied with the exception of instead of a three-player shootout, it is a five-player shootout. So that's how this will work. First time this season we've seen a shootout in the Premier League. And it looks like Jeff Bissett will come out and shoot first. Shots on goal after regulation 39-25. So Mitch Deason turned aside 36 shots in this one. And it will be indeed Jeff Bissett of the Snowbirds to shoot first. Both goalies will utilize the same goal as well. So in comes Bissett to kick this one off. And here he comes. Scores! Jeff Bissett. That was pretty. Just goes backhand, forehand, and is able to put it past Deason. So, one for one in the shootout. The Snowbirds. And now Luke Brunin will be the first shooter for the box. He had a goal in this one. Brunin tries to go backhand, scores! Luke Brunin responds. Nice backhand. Gets past Huffnagel. Now Darwin Moore, a next shooter for the Snowbirds. He has a goal in this one. Morin goes backhand, scores! So Darwin Morin will respond for the Snowbirds. They shot first, and they have a 2-1 shootout lead. So Josh Anderson now, the Bucks captain, up next. And here comes Anderson. Left-handed shooter, almost had that ball roll away from him, scores! Josh Anderson slowed it right down. Was able to get Huffnagel to commit first. And the Bucks captain is able to keep this shootout even Steven. So it's now 2-2. And now Antoine Nataways. Left-handed shooter. In on Decent. Nataways. Backhand stopped by Mitch Decent. A great stop with the left pad. The first save of the shootout. And now here comes Damon Williams for the box. Williams in, tries to go forehand, stopped by Huffnagel. So both teams' goalies respond with a save apiece. And now Noel Englot with a chance to put the Snowbirds back up ahead. Anglot in on decent. He's going to slow down. Scores! Good job by Anglot. And he's able to go block her side on Deason. So now Keith Mitchell looks to respond for the Bucks. Tries to go backhand, forehand, and can't as. Huffnagel was able to get a little bit of a stick on that one as he went for the poke check as well. So, remains a 3-2 lead in the shootout. And now Josh Grimm with a chance for the Snowbirds. Grimm in on Decent. Stopped by Decent. Good save with the glove of Mitch Deason, and now up comes Morgan Bogdan. 
which if I've done my math correctly, needs to score to keep this thing alive. But I've been wrong before. In comes Bogdan. Stopped by Huffnagel. And that is indeed going to be the game. So the Snowbirds come from three down in the last five minutes of regulation to tie it up. And then they're able to end this one in a shootout. They move to 5-0 and oh on the Premier League season. Once again, the final in the first of five games tonight. This afternoon, however you want to call it. The Snowbirds 4, the Bucks 3, coming up at 1 o'clock will be... Game two of the day, which features the Axemen versus the Ravens. Once again, the final in this one, the Snowbirds four, the Bucks three. <laughs> 